he comes, here he comes. There's the trumpets, there's the drums, here he comes. Hop along, Cassidy, here he comes. Wedding bells were about to ring for my friend Lucky. Huh? Here it is. So this is the last chance in, huh? This is it. Sure be glad to see Mary. Sure, I'll be. What'll I say to her? Nothing. Is that all? <laughs> you sure this is the right place, Lucky? Sure. All the prospectors live here. There isn't another place within a hundred miles. Well, maybe we got here too early. Doesn't seem to be anybody up yet. I can't understand it. Mary said to be sure and get here by daybreak. Her uncle wanted to have an early wedding so we could get away before noon. Maybe we got here too late, and Mary's had to change heart. Same thing happened to me. Oh, don't bring that up again. Hello, anybody here? You sure this is an inn, not a funeral parlor? What can I do for you, gentlemen? Oh, hello there, Lucky. Hi, Mr. Potter, glad to see you. Mr. Potter owns this place. I want you to meet Mr. Cassidy, my best man, and Mr. Carlson. How do you do, sir? How do you do, Mr. Potter? Where's Mary? Where's the minister? He left about an hour ago. What? Why? Miss Bem didn't feel like getting married, I guess. I can't understand it. Where is she? Where's her uncle? Mr. Benton's been gone all morning. Couldn't say where. Oh, he'll be back in a little while. Nothing to worry about. Oh, Lucky. I'm so glad you're here. Mary, what happened? Uncle Jim isn't here. I'm terribly worried about him. Oh, he'll show up in time for the wedding. But you don't understand. He didn't just go away. All of his things are in his room. His horse is in the barn. It just doesn't make sense. Oh, now, don't you worry. Mary, I want you to meet Mr. Cassidy and Mr. Carlson. Howdy, Miss. How do you do, Mr. Cassidy? Hello, Mary. I'm awfully sorry this had to happen to upset you. Is there anything I can do for you? Thank you. I don't believe there's anything we can do but just hope and wait. Oh, but you might be wasting valuable time. Could I see your uncle's room? Certainly, anything you say. Down this hallway, please. There was nothing in her uncle's room to explain his sudden disappearance. You think it's something serious, Hoppy? I hope not. But people don't just vanish into thin air, you know. Hmm. I'll say they don't. I'm the handyman. If you want anything, call me. Thanks for letting us know. Anything you want? Who, me? Oh. Say, uh, when was the last time you saw Mr. Benton? Last night at the supper table. Ah, oh, come on now. You can do better than that. Could be I saw him kiss Miss Mary goodnight. Yeah? What time was that? Around 10 o'clock. Did you see anything unusual during the night? No, sir. When I sleep, I sleep. Thanks, Duke. You've been a great help. Now I understand everything. We better join the others. What do you think, Hoppy? I think I'm going to need my guns. Will you get my saddlebag? Uh-oh. Oh, well, Mr. Cassidy. Yes? Find anything? Not a thing. I was just telling Earl that Ben will probably show up pretty soon, and then the laugh will be on us. I'm Earl Wesson, Mr. Cassidy. I've heard a great deal about you from Lucky. How do you do, sir? My partner and I are working a claim a short ways from Benton's. I took the day off to be on hand for the wedding. Too bad this had to happen. Yes, it is. You say your claim is next to Benton's? That's right. Are you going back to your place? Nothing else for me to do under the circumstances. I wonder if you'd mind taking me along. I'd like to have a look at Benton's mine. Certainly not. I'd be glad to. Thanks. See you later. Thanks, California. Oh, Mr. Wesson, this is Mr. California Carlson. Howdy, Wesson. How do you do, sir? Will you tell the others I'll be back later? Sure, but don't you think you ought to eat something first? No, I'll eat later, but don't let that spoil your appetite. <laughs> This is 
Benton's mine. Our claim's a short ways further down. Uh-huh. You any idea what Benton did with his gold? He never discussed his personal affairs with me, but I suppose it's stashed away somewhere, same as ours is, till we get a chance to take it into town. I see. I think I'll take a look inside. I'd better go with you. You might get lost. All right. No. You can't move him till the sheriff gets here. Suppose I get my partner and send him after the sheriff. Meantime, you and I can try to pick up the killer's trail. All right, go ahead and get him. I'll wait here. Think you'll be safe? I think so. Just as you say. We'll be back as soon as we can. Right. What's up, Cassidy? You all right? Oh, sure, I'm all right. This is my partner, Bart Lansing. How do you do, sir? How do you do? You just missed Benton's killer by a few minutes. He's someplace in there. Oh, then he's gone. That mountain is crisscross with tunnels leading out of here. Well, why don't we see if we can pick up his trail? It suits me, Cassidy. You know, I hold no brief for this type of killer. Neither do I. Let's go. After a fruitless search for the killer. Hello, Mr. Potter. Getting a little fresh air? Yeah, can't stay indoors all day long. <laughs> Brother Larry, Mr. Cassidy. How do you do? Hello, Mr. Cassidy. It must be nice to have a brother around to help out. Well, I don't know about that. Well, doesn't Larry run the place for you? Uh, no, I'm, I'm only visiting here. Larry's in another line of business. He doesn't like the desert. Life is too quiet around here to suit him. I see. To the stables, Larry. here. I need a room for the night. I thought you and I were through for good. We are, but let's not bring that up again. Are you going to put me up? Sure, I'll put you up. Well, Jesse William. Well, Cassidy. <laughs> My, but it's good to see you. What brings you to this part of the desert? Well, I staked out a claim up in the hill and I just panned it dry. Everybody's getting rich around here except me. And what could have brought you here, Hoppy? Don't tell me the gold ones got you, too. Oh, you know me better than that, Jesse. Ranching is my business. A friend of mine is supposed to get married here today. Yeah, I know, to the Benton gal. Did her uncle turn up yet? How did you know about that? Well, bad news travels fast. It wouldn't be the first time a man's disappeared from here. But Benton didn't just disappear. He was killed. Did you say killed? Yeah, I found his body in the mine. Your room's ready, Jesse. All right, Potter. First room off the hall. Thanks for putting me up. Don't thank me. You're lucky it was vacant. The next morning, I went looking for Jesse Williams. Jesse! 
Jesse, wake up. It's time for breakfast. There's nobody in this room, Mr. Cassidy. Well, I happen to know different. Jesse Williams had disappeared, and so had his bag of gold. Where is Williams? He left early this morning. Said he was sorry, but he couldn't wait and asked me to tell you goodbye. I see. Thanks. I'm Sheriff Thompson, and you're Jeff Potter, aren't you? That's the name. You're the new circuit sheriff, right? I hear you've been having some trouble. A man by the name of Benton has been killed and robbed. No trouble here, Sheriff. Benton's been killed in the mine, out in my place. But he's lived here, hasn't he? So I'm going to start from here. Very well, Sheriff. The place is yours. Help yourself. I'm Hopalong Cassidy, Sheriff. Maybe I can help you out. Thanks. Know anything about this Benton, Mr. Cassidy? No, not much, but I, I can show you where his body is. And I have reason to believe that my friend Jesse Williams has been killed, too. Another murder. When did that happen? Last night. Maybe you better take me to Benton first, and we'll see about Williams later. I'm ready, Sheriff. We'll go with you, Hoppy. No, you two stay here and keep your eyes open. And Lucky, you better tell Mary about her uncle. Somebody came in here and moved the corpse? Well, apparently. Take this light. Sure. Weston was with me when I found Benton. We saw you two riding up toward the mine, but couldn't make out who you were. Can't blame us for not taking any chances, Sheriff. I certainly don't. Not in a place where even the dead aren't safe. Benton has disappeared. What? How's that possible? Well, apparently the same man that shot at me in the mine came back and removed the body. Then what are we waiting for? There's four of us here to go after him. If he's still around. Well, we got everything to gain and nothing to lose. Well, let's go. Didn't accomplish very much today. If it were up to me, I'd keep on trailing that killer all night. Well, you don't catch a rattlesnake by rushing head on into it. See you at dinner, gentlemen. Right. Fine dinner, Potter. Well, I've had a long day. I'm going to turn in. Good night. Excuse Good night. me, please. Good night, sir. Good night. I'd like to speak to you, Sheriff. Come in, Cassidy. What's on your mind? Is this going to be your room for the night? Yes. Anything wrong with it? Oh, nothing except the Bentons and Williams had it before you. Well, thanks for the warning. But the killer won't have another chance. I know who he is. You know who he is? Who? Potter. You mean Jeff? No, Larry Potter. I know him from Texas. He's wanted there on the same charge. Murder. Well, do you think he recognized you? I'm sure he didn't. Well, when are you going to arrest him? As soon as I get enough evidence to tie him up with the Benton and Williams cases. Yeah, but he might weaken and show his hand before you want him to. That's just what I'm banking on. What about my spending the night here with you? Oh, don't worry about me. I have a pair of good eyes and ears and my gun. Yeah, but four eyes and ears are better. Well, I sure appreciate your cooperation, but that would only make Larry suspicious. All right, Sheriff. I guess you know best. Good night, sir. Good night. Just before getting ready for bed, I heard a strange noise and decided to investigate. Thompson. I, I, I don't 
What have you done with him? Nothing, I swear. Then what are you doing in this room? That Larry? Yeah, he's making a getaway. Keep an eye on Potter. I think he can walk. I've been waiting for you, Cassidy. What happened to Larry? I'm sorry to have to tell you this, Mr. Potter. Larry was killed. We got there too late to save him. How do I know you're telling the truth? Maybe you killed him yourself. You don't know me very well, do you? So we'll let it go at that. I'm a law-abiding citizen, and this is a respectable place. What gives you the right to act as if you were the law around here? That, Mr. Potter. Unless Thompson shows up, I'll continue the search for him as well as Jesse Williams. Any objections? Sure is a funny coincidence, all these happenings in this room. It's more than a coincidence, Lucky. Three men don't disappear from the same room for no reason. Maybe Potter's the reason. After all, he owns the place. That could be. A man doesn't pose as an invalid without a good reason for doing so. How'd you find that out? I found the wheelchair empty. When I went back, Potter was in it. Then why don't we do something about it? I can't do anything till I catch him walking. Who sleeps upstairs? Bart Lansing. Come in. I heard you were here. My partner and I are pulling up the stakes, Cassidy. But first, we're going into town to round up a posse, whether Potter likes it or not. Well, thanks for letting me know. You and Lansing go right ahead. All right. See you when I get back. Right. You two stay here and keep an eye on Potter. Now, I might be going all day, but don't worry about me. Where are you going, Hoppy? That depends. Oh, it's Cassidy. Sorry I was late. I saved something for you, Hoppy. Duke. No, thanks. I'll just have a cup of coffee. Did you have any luck getting the posse together? Yes, but the men won't get here until sometime tomorrow. I'm sure glad we'll be gone by then. That's what you'd better do, Mr. Cassidy, if you want to take my advice. Can't blame you folks for the way you feel. Seems like there's a curse on this place. The only complaint I have with this place is that I can't get a good night's rest. Are you too crowded where you are? No, it's, uh... Just that I can't stand California snoring. Poppy, I don't snore. I just breathe loud. Uh, well, there's still a vacant room downstairs, if you care to have it. Not that room, Hoppy. Well, what's the matter with that? Well, it's a good idea. I'll take it. Have you gone loco? Hoppy, you can't. What is this, a bad case of jitters? See what I mean, Cassidy? Next, they'll try to make me out a murderer. 
Oh, if I still had the use of my legs, all this wouldn't have happened. Yeah, I've still got two good hands. And if I ever come across the man that killed my brother, I'm going to use them. You won't have long to wait, Potter. The killer is right in this room. That night, soon after I had retired, Suffocated them while they were asleep. All right, Cassidy, you got me. You're smarter than I thought you were. Not so smart, Lansing. I followed you today. You didn't ride into town to round up a posse. You didn't work your claim either. It was easier to get rich on the other man's work, wasn't it? You know all the answers, don't you? Just used a little common sense. Looks like it didn't use quite enough. Jesse and the sheriff are waiting close by. They're kind of anxious for you to join them. Come on, Cassidy, we haven't got all night. Get going. Get down here, Cassidy. What's the matter, Carlson? Have a bad dream? Why, no, I, 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 I Mr. Potter, uh, you got two chairs. Certainly, one for sitting and one for sleeping in. Any objection? Why, no, I, you're welcome to all the chairs you want. You... Excuse me. I've had enough of all this. Your pal Cassidy's in trouble. What are you talking about? Come on, maybe we can still help. You got here just in time, Lucky. Thanks to Duke. I try to get here. You think you can walk back upstairs? Oh, sure. Well, take Wesson with you. And... Oh! I've been thinking about us, Lucky. You belong out here, but I don't. I'd never be happy. What do you want to do? I'm going to take the stage and, and go back east. Well, it's your happiness. That's all that counts. Williams and Thompson. If you need any more information, you can reach me at the Bar 20 Ranch. Well, thanks, Mr. Cassidy, but I don't think we'll have to trouble you anymore. What about him? Oh, he was instrumental in capturing these two. He'll do his part as a material witness. All right, boys, bring him along. You better get the horses, huh? Yes. Yeah. There he goes, on his way, down the moonlit trail to where cowboys ran. 